Brushes are a really important part of Illustrator that can help you create complex designs more simply and can speed up your design creation process. Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Marius and in this Envato Task Plus tutorial, I will show you the very basics of how to install, use and save a set of brushes in Adobe Illustrator. Before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. With simple commercial licensing, you can have unlimited access to millions of creative digital assets, such as video templates, graphics, photos, fonts, and many more. You can subscribe right now using the link in the description. When you want to load a set of brushes, simply double click the Illustrator document and focus on the brushes panel where you can notice that your brushes are already loaded and ready to use. If you can't see this panel, all you have to do is go to Window in the menu bar and select Brushes. Now that you have your brushes, let's see how easy it can be to apply one. Select the Ellipse tool from your toolbar, create a simple path, and select a brush from the brushes panel that you want to apply on your path. Much more commonly, you can use the paintbrush tool to check how your brush handles a variety of angles and curved paths. Now let's say that you'll only need the top four brushes. So remove the bottom four brushes. And in order to use these brushes in another document, you'll have to save them. To do this, all you have to do is click this button and go to Save Brushes. Or you can open the flyer menu from the Brushes panel and go to Save Brush Library. You can save your brushes in the preset folder or you can select a different one. For this tutorial, we'll save them in the preset folder. Type in a name for your new set of brushes and click Save. If you saved your brushes in the preset folder, when you click this button and go to user define, you will find your set of brushes. Alternatively, you can open the flyer menu from the brushes panel, go to open brush library and user define, and again you will find your set of brushes. Simply click on it and you will get the panel with your set of brushes. When you choose to save your brushes in a different folder, you can access them by going to other library. You have the same command in the flyer menu of the brushes panel and how you organize your brushes is entirely up to you. Besides your saved brushes, you've probably noticed all these preset collections of brushes that come with Illustrator. You can load any of these brush libraries with a simple click. Keep in mind that you can use these arrow buttons to easily navigate between the preset brush libraries and when you find the brush that you need, just click it to apply it on the selected path. Let's close this panel and select the circle. To change the color of this rope brush, all you have to do is change the stroke color. You can do it from the color panel or you can do it by double clicking on the stroke color wheel in the toolbar. Let's pick something bluish and click OK. For more complex brushes, you can use the Recolor Artwork option to change the color of a brush. Select your path, click this button from the control panel or go to Edit, Edit Colors and Recolor Artwork. Let's click this Advanced Options button to get access to all the settings of the Recolor Artwork option. And using these buttons, you can change each color one by one, or you can switch to the Edit mode and use these handles to change all the colors of the brush at once. Back to the circle. To change the size of this rope brush, all you have to do is adjust the stroke weight from the control panel. Finally, you should know that it is not possible to apply gradients on Illustrator brushes. If you absolutely need to do this, you will have to expand your brush. Let's see how this can be done. Before we expand the brush, first let's remove the fill color. 
and then go to object and expand appearance. Unite the resulting group of shapes using this button from the Pathfinder panel and then fill your shape with a radial gradient. Let's move this gradient slider around 80%. Change the color mode to RGB and select this light blue. And then select this other gradient slider, change again the color mode to RGB. And let's select a darker blue. With this final touch, your introduction to Illustrator brushes is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorial. If you are looking to learn even more about Illustrator brushes, you can actually find a tutorial that teaches you how to create that complex raw brush which was used to exemplify the recolor artwork option. That being said, my name is Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.